Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a very large Dollar Tree haul. I haven't been on all week uh, due to different things, just been pretty busy with different videos. But today I decided I have to get this video up so y'all can go and snag up some of this stuff before it's all gone. We're going to jump right on in. But before we go, if you are new here, I surely would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button right there. And turn on that notification bell so they can notify you every time I upload a video. And don't forget to go follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. Okay, guys, let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to show y'all are these eggs. The Easter eggs, they're pretty large and they are iridescent. I don't know if you're going to be able to pick up the colors on these, but they are so pretty. The colors are good for boys and girls, so I thought I'd pick these up. They are not new at the Dollar Tree, but I always pick them up. Okay, the next thing that I found were these dish towels. I don't use these dish towels because these don't seem like they're really good quality. I just like to use them to hang them in the kitchen over the stove handle or on one of the cabinets or something. But they're, you know, they're pretty cute. This one has just little eggs on it. And this one has the Happy Easter with the little bunny on it. And I'm going to be making some baskets. So I needed to pick up some little toys. And I did find this Paint Your Own Sun Catcher. The LOL Paint Your Own Sun Catcher. And it comes with the little paint and the little rope to hang them. And a little brush. I don't know how good the quality is of the little brush. But I thought it was cute that would go good in a little basket. Okay, the next thing I found for my godson's basket he loves Hot Wheels, and I just accidentally ran into this. It's a little Hot Wheels toothbrush with a cap and a little drinking cup, and it has the Hot Wheels all around it. I thought that was very cute. He is going to love this. And then I also picked up these 3D wood toys, and it is a little unicorn, and it has the little paints in the back with the little brush, same like the other one. It has the whole unicorn. You just have to put them together. It's really cute, and it is a Crayola product. It is a name brand. Okay, and I did find some treat bags for Easter. I always give stuff cookies or pound cake, and I did find these real nice bags. I hadn't seen these before in this bright pink, and they also had them in the lavender, lavender purple. It's a little dark. It's very pretty designs. I did pick up two of these. And they come 25 to a bag, which is a great deal for a buck, guys. The Crafter Square section at the Dollar Tree is expanding. You can find some really nice things. So I did pick up these butterfly stickers. They come four pieces, and they are 3D butterflies, but they are so pretty. Now, these will go good for scrapping or scrapbooking or card making. I think these are beautiful, and look at those colors. I also found in the jot some book markers, and they are Be Bold and Courageous, Enjoy Simple Pleasures, Love What You Do. And since I love what I do, I decided to get that for my spiral and my calendar every day. And they have such pretty colors, the purple, the pink, and the red with the tassels. That is so cute, guys, for $1. And also in the Crafter Square, I found a stencil. I'm always messing around with different crafts. And looky here, guys, with the apron, the rolling pin, the mitt, the spoons, the Dutch oven, the cutting board, the milk jug, the tea pitcher. Isn't that the cutest? And I thought, how appropriate for my cooking videos. So I did pick this up. And also for my planner, I'm not a big, huge planner, but on my calendar, I do like to have sticky notes on there. So they did have these, and they have pretty nice ones. You know, it has reminders for birthdays, for chores, for groceries, dentist appointments, for all kinds of stuff. So I thought that was pretty good, and it comes 300 count pieces. I think that's a great deal. So I did get this. I did pick up some yarn. I have seen yarn before, and I normally don't get it because I don't like the quality. But this one is just chenille, and it is in white. I picked up two white. And it is so soft. Very, very soft, guys. So I picked up two white, two of the gray, and look at this gray. Beautiful color and really, really soft. And a black. I have a little project in mind yet, but I don't know if it's going to work. But I will definitely share it with you if it does. I found some more twine. They did have a variety of colors. The only one I didn't find was the red. 
I was able to find the cotton twine in the blue, this dark blue, in the yellow, and the lime green. Look at this lime green. When I give out packages, guys, if I make something, I love to decorate my boxes or bags to make them look pretty. So I did pick up these three colors. And I found some new ribbon. Real cute. I found for uh, spring this orange check. Really, really cute. I got it in the blue. And this is great for packages in the kitchen as well, guys. It looks really pretty. And this stripe one. I've never seen this one before. I hope you can see that. So I got these three. I didn't see anything else new to my dollar. And in the gardening section, I am getting my little garden ready. After this last freeze, I'm glad I waited. I did find the soaker hoses. I'm going to see if I can use them to spread around my planters outside. For a dollar, guys, I mean, it's plastic. We'll see how it holds up. But if it works for a dollar, wow, you can't beat that. I did get some seeds to start some more seeds to start off my garden. I'm going to have to start already. Okay, so I got the cilantro, the habanero peppers. I got two habanero peppers. I got the basil, and I got the oregano. So we're going to give these a try, and hopefully they sprout, and I will keep you updated. Spring crafting is here. I love to decorate for the spring. So I did find this wreath which is not new to the Dollar Tree. They call it a wood blend wreath, and it is a good size, not too big. It is a 12 inch, and I also found this one that says, welcome. Okay, and then I did pick up some little yellow daisies, and this one, they're calling it baby's breath. I don't know if this is actually the baby breath, but that's what they have it listed as. So I will show you that project after I have it done. I have a little bit of reorganization going on in my office. My office is a collage of so many different things. You know, I, I do my food videos, so this is where I edit my videos and post all kinds of stuff. This is where I have my craft supplies and uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm trying to organize it. I do like to have a gift wrapping section. I like to have everything together and, you know, really nice. Because it kind of inspires me to wrap a gift, make it look pretty, if that makes sense. So I did find these bows. Okay, I did find these bows. Look at how fun these are in the neon. The neon orange, the purple, the lime green, and the pink. Wow, look at this. This will really inspire you if they're on your, you know, wrapping station and every, you're, they're just looking at you. Oh, these are so cute. So I did get one of each color. They did have white. I didn't see a blue, but I'm pretty sure they have the blue. But aren't these the cutest? And you do get two. So I thought that was a good deal. Okay, and to go with that organization process that I have going on, I did pick up some more of the little gold uh, baskets. These have been around for a little bit. I did pick up three of these. And I am going to line them with some fabric and set them up on a shelf to put different little things and put some labels on them. So I thought they would look really cute. Look at that on a shelf. And they're not too big, so you can actually put them on, on a wall shelf or in a cabinet, wherever. It doesn't matter. I mean, they are just too cute. So I picked up three of these. And in the kitchen section, I didn't pick up too much stuff this time. I just picked up some of these Betty Crocker Easy Seal containers. And they do come to, to a package. These are not new. But I love to have these for if you have a little bit of leftover of something or you're going to give something to somebody that you don't care if you lose the container. These are great. Now I have shared with you before the glass cleaner. My number one glass cleaner that I love from the Dollar Tree. It works just as well as the name brand guys. So I did restock with two and I will keep buying these as long as they have them. Okay, and now in the beauty section, I picked up a couple of things. I did find some of the Bolero Facial Wipes and the Cucumber Aloe in the 30 count. These are fabulous, guys. And I do use these for makeup remover or just to freshen up your face on the days you don't have makeup on. You know, there comes a summer here in Texas. It's pretty miserable. You always need to freshen up your face during the day. 
And these are great. I found these two items that are new. I'm going to open them up so we can check them out. This is a polishing cloth. And what it says to do, this one here, to run under cold water, squeeze out the excess water, and wipe and cleanse. For wiping and cleansing. So I'm going to give this a try and see if it's any good. And a facial brush. Something to exfoliate your face. Let's open the cloth up and see how big it is. Okay, so it looks like this. It looks just like a washcloth. And it's very, very soft, guys. Something really nice for your face. So I am going to give it a try. And we're going to check it out and see if, it's, if it works just as well as a washcloth. The little brush. Okay, it has a little jute rope on it. And it's kind of tiny, but it, the, the bristles are very soft, you know, and it's good to clean your face after a long day like today with makeup. It seems like it would work well. It's a little small, though, so we'll see how it works out. Okay, and again, I did find one of the Bolero Paper Facial Masks and the Cucumber Aloe. You all know I love the masks, the paper masks, the Bolero brand. And I also got another exfoliating facial mitt. So this seems kind of small, but just small enough to put your fingers in there and exfoliate your face, get it rolled nice and clean. And this is a repurchase for me, another exfoliating facial sp sponge. These are real nice, guys, for everyday use, and they do hold up real well as long as you wash it after every use. Really like these sponges. And I did pick up a couple of these Crest to go toothbrushes. And they come two. It says no water needed. And it is Crest and Scope brand. And there is two in there. So I did pick up these just to go in my purse when I'm out running around or after a lunch somewhere that you feel yucky, you want to clean up. These are great. Okay, and then I did find another Lift and Firm eye cream with collagen and peptides. It's great for depuffing and tightening. Helps reduce signs of aging. 15 minute eye therapy. So I'm going to give this a try. I have never seen this before in my Dollar Tree. But I will tell you what, guys. I do buy the, the eye serums from the Dollar Tree, the little red ones. And they work really well. And for a dollar, you just cannot go wrong. So I'm going to give this a try and let you know how well it works. Now, I had been looking for these for a while. It is a facial cleansing brush. I'm going to open it. I had not been able to find it at my Dollar Tree. I had seen some of the other girls haul it. Okay, you do need batteries. And what you do is you get the little brush, and they are soft, nice and soft. So what you do is put it... Oh, there it goes. It's got a click in there. And that's what it looks like. And then you add your batteries here at the bottom. Let me see what kind of batteries. Two AA batteries. And if you just need to clean up your face at night, this is real simple, real nice to use. I'm going to give it a try. And I also found this Bolero Bar Soap. It reads plant-based bar soap, coconut and wild berries. Now, I don't use this in the bath, guys. What I like to use bar soap for is to wash my makeup brushes. If you haven't tried that, give it a try. It will clean your, your brushes so well. It helps to prevent breakouts on your face when your brushes are clean. So I always buy bar soap for that. All right, guys, and another product that I got from the Dollar Tree. You know they have been getting these essentials, brooms, and different things that they have in that area. I did pick up this broom, this sliding broom, and the reason that I got it, and I did pick up the handle to it, okay? They are sold separately, so that's $2. But the reason that I got this is because the bristles are so soft that I'm going to use them to clean my baseboards. I don't like to clean baseboards. I'm sure nobody else does. So I decided, you know what? This is a great idea for that. They're real soft. They're not going to scratch up the wall or anything. So I thought this was a great find for that, for the baseboards and on top of the door jams and stuff like that. So keep a lookout for these. I think that would serve you real well. Last item is one more book that I found is this dessert book. It reads Italian Cooking School Desserts and it did have a lot of great recipes. And 
and a lot of great instructions. So I thought I'd give this a read and let you know what it's about so, so you can run out and get you one. And that, my friends, is the last item. If you stuck around till the end, I appreciate you. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps me out here on the channel, guys. It tells YouTube to share my videos just a little bit more. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.